We are going to see how to create a supplier. Go to Payables Responsibility and click on Supplier Entry screen. This will take you to a new screen for supplier creation. In 11i, you would have noticed supplier creation was done in Oracle Forms. But uh, in R12, it's going to be in a HTML page. So to create a supplier, click on Create Supplier button. This will take you to a new screen. Here you can see uh, two types of supplier that can be created. One is a standard supplier, other one is create employee as a supplier. So in this video, we are going to see how to create standard supplier. In a separate video, we will see how to create employee as a supplier. Now uh, select a standard supplier. In the organization name field, provide the supplier name. So I am going to create PC World UK as a supplier. And if you have any allies name for the supplier, then provide the allies name. And if there is any URL details for the PC World, provide the website details. I will give uh, pcworld.co.uk. And also, you can enter taxpayer ID here. The taxpayer ID is a unique number. If you enter the number here, the same number cannot be used for any other supplier. However, if there is any specific uh, business requirement, to use uh, the same uh, taxpayer ID for another supplier. So this is the profile option. If you change this profile option to yes, then uh, system allow you to use the uh, same taxpayer ID for another supplier as well. So once you entered all the details, then you can save. So I'm going to give taxpayer ID as uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and click apply. So now this will take you to another screen. The system is little so. Okay. Now in this screen, we can uh, enter all the supplier and site details. On the left hand side, you can see uh, there are a lot of tabs where we are going to enter uh, all the supplier information. So let's uh, go through each and every tab and then see in detail. Now we are going to see organization tab first. In the organization tab, you can see the supplier name defaulted from a previous screen that we entered, PC World UK. And the supply number automatically generated as 22. So in a payable system option, we have set up uh, the supplier number creation as automatic. You can also manually enter the supply number. You can change the setup in payable system option. While entering a manual supply number, you can also enter through alpha numeric. However, if you uh, choose with the automatic numbering, then it can be only numeric. The next field we are going to see is a supplier type. The supplier type here refers to category of a supplier, what kind of supplier uh, uh, PC World is, whether it's an uh, internal supplier, a manufacturing supplier, a maintenance supplier. So you can see all the details here. Now I'm going to select uh, this supplier as a utility supplier. If you don't find any category in this list of value, what you can do is you can uh, go to purchasing lookup and then query vendor type as a lookup and then you can enter your own uh, supplier type name. So I will write the lookup here name. Go to purchasing lookup in payables responsibility and then query for vendor type. So you can enter your own category name. Once you save the record, the supplier type will appear in this list of value and then you can select your own supplier name. So once you enter supplier de details, then uh, click on save. So these are the key fields that are required in organization tab. The next uh, tab we are going to see is uh, address book. So before you uh, enter any uh, site information, you need an address. So now we are going to create an address book, then create a site. Click on create. Now I am going to give country name as United Kingdom. And then address state. I am going to give Wembley as address line 1. City as London and postcode as uh, NW1. The address name here refers to what kind of address this is. You can mention it's a London address. If you have site in uh, Yorkshire, you can give Yorkshire address. I'm going to give London site. On the right hand side, you can see purpose of this address, whether it's on a purchasing site or it's on a payment site. So now we are going to use this particular address for both purchasing and payment. So click both the option and then continue. So, in previous step, we have just created the address. In this screen, we are going to assign this particular address to an operating unit. So, now uh, I am going to assign London site 
addressed to our Spock soft operating unit. If you have more than one operating unit, all the operating unit will appear on the screen. Then you can uh, select to which operating unit you want to assign this particular uh, site. Then click on apply. So the address has been created now. Now let's uh, go to a next tab called banking details. The banking information uh, for a supplier need to be entered only if you are going to make an electronic payment. If you are going to make a check payment, then uh, this uh, supplier banking detail is not required. Now let's assume we are going to make payment in electronics and the supplier is also having an electronic bank account. Now I'm going to uh, enter the banking details at site level. Let's select the site information and click on go and then create. So you have to be a little careful when you enter the bank uh, account assignment level. If you select supplier, then uh, the bank account will be uh, saved at supplier level. So if you are going to assign at site level, then you have to specifically select the site and then click on create. The country here refers to where the supplier bank account is held. If the bank account is in uh, France, then you have to enter the country name as France. Now let's assume the bank account for PC World UK is uh, held in United Kingdom. We're going to make an international payment, say for example in other, uh, other currencies except GBP or New or USD, then please click on Allow International Payment. Then enter the supplier bank name and branch name. I'm going to enter HSBC PLC as a bank name for this particular supplier and then select the branch. London as a branch. So here you have to give the bank account number. So I'm going to give bank account number in uh, nine, 10 digit, I have given as 9 digit. In UK, the standard uh, norms uh, for uh, bank account number length is 8 digit. Now I have given the account number as 9 digit. Now let's see what happens when, when we try to save. So if I save, I click on apply then system is going to throw an error please enter a maximum of eight character for account numbers so system is uh, doing a uh, validation the bank account number length should be eight if you want to uh, disable this validation then you can do it by enabling the profile option called c disable bank validation this is a profile option you can uh, change this profile option and set it to no at site level then system won't do any validation here we are not going to change the profile option now i'm going to enter the correct length for the bank account number so once you enter the information click on apply now the record will be saved so this validation is a uh, very critical like uh, the system will do the validation for all the countries not just for uk generally this is a best practice followed by all the companies uh, by uh, enabling this profile option in order to do a uh, validation